Inside the box, you have your cameras, mounting hardware, power cord, sync module, plastic screwdrivers, and mounting screws. First, you want to download the Blink Home Monitor app. After that, you want to follow the steps to create an account. Pretty standard procedures. You'll put in your email, create a password, verify your email, as well as your phone number. From there, it'll ask if you want to link your Blink account to your Amazon account. You will need to complete this step if you plan to sign up for a Blink monthly subscription. Otherwise, you can skip this step. Next, you'll be taken to this screen here. And the first thing we want to do is add our sync module. It's going to ask us if we want to use our phone to take a picture of the QR code located on the sync module. So if you grab the sync module, you can see on the back, you have a QR code in the left hand corner, and you're simply going to use your phone to take a picture of it. Once it recognizes the QR code, you can go ahead and click create a new system. You can choose to name the system, whatever you want. From there, you want to plug the sync module in and press the reset button on the back until you see a red light. After a few seconds, you should then see a blue and a green light. Now you'll go back to the app and click on discover device. Keep in mind, you need to make sure you have your phone's Wi-Fi turned on during this step. Once it says connected, it'll pull up a list of available Wi-Fi networks and you simply want to choose the Wi-Fi network that you have for your home. Go ahead and enter your Wi-Fi password and then click join. Eventually, it'll let us know that the sync module has been successfully added. So now what you want to do is click on this plus icon in the right hand corner, and we're going to start the process of adding our first camera. Just like we did with the sync module, we're going to use our phone and take a picture of the QR code located on the back of each camera. So to do that, you'll need to remove the little rubber piece on the back of the camera and grab one of the plastic screwdrivers to remove the back of the camera. Once it's open, you can see there's a small QR code and you're simply going to grab your phone and capture a photo. It's then gonna ask what system you wanna add the camera to and we're just gonna choose the one that we created. After that, you wanna grab the batteries that came in the box and install them into the camera. And while the app is adding our first camera to the system, we're just gonna go ahead and put the camera back together. Eventually, it'll let us know that the camera has been successfully added. So the app will automatically enroll you in the Blink Plus trial plan which will basically give you free unlimited cloud video recording for 30 days. The good thing is you can cancel this trial at any time. And if you forget to cancel it, it won't automatically start charging you. Now you also have the option to store your video footage locally on the sync module. And I actually picked up this mounting kit off of Amazon that allows you to easily mount your sync module to a wall outlet and it comes with a 256 gigabyte USB drive that you can plug directly into the module to store your footage locally. This way you don't have to worry about paying for a monthly subscription. So now that we have our first camera added, we can test it out by clicking on this video icon. And after a few seconds, you can see it pulls up the camera's live feed as you can see here. So now we're just going to repeat the same process for the remainder of the cameras. And just a quick tip, if you forget which cameras you've already added and which cameras you still need to add, what you can do is go into the app and you can match these serial numbers up with the serial numbers located on the back of each camera. So when it comes to the mounting hardware, it's very easy to use it basically snaps right into place on the back of the camera. Once you decide where to mount your cameras, it's easiest to secure the mount first and then attach the camera. So now that we have all of our cameras in place, you can see that they're all active inside the app. 
and whenever you wanna view the live feed, just click on this video icon. So once you're in here, you do have a few different options. If you click on this save button down at the bottom, that will save that particular live view session. You also have the hold to talk option, which allows you to communicate with someone through the camera. On the home screen, if you click on these three lines for any of the cameras, it'll take you to the device settings. So if you go to general settings, this is where you can change the name of your camera. So wherever you decided to place that camera, you can choose a name that matches. You also have your motion settings. So this is where you can turn motion detection on or off. You can adjust the sensitivity as well as the re-trigger time for each motion event. You also have the option to customize your motion zones. So this allows you to choose which areas you want motion detection active and which areas you don't. So whichever sections you don't want motion notifications for, you simply tap the squares and they'll turn gray. You also have your video and photo settings. So this is where you can choose how long you want the camera to record whenever motion is detected. You can also make adjustments to your video quality and you have the option to end a video clip early if the camera stops detecting motion. Down towards the bottom, you have the photo capture option, which allows the camera to take a photo once every hour. You can also make adjustments to your audio. So this is where you can adjust the speaker volume of your camera. So on the home screen, down towards the bottom, you have your disarm and arm buttons. So whenever you want motion detection active, you'll click arm. And when you don't want it active, you'll click disarm. Down in the lower right hand corner, you have some additional settings that you can customize. So under account and privacy, one feature I like to have turned on is biometric unlock. So if you're someone that uses your fingerprint sensor to unlock your phone, you can also use it to unlock the app. Under device and system settings, if you click on the system that you created and then click on all devices, this allows you to customize the order of the cameras. So whenever you open the app, you can choose the order of the cameras that you want to see. So maybe you want to start at the front of the house and work your way towards the back of the house. And then if you go back to device and system settings and then click on scheduling, you can create a schedule for the cameras to automatically arm and disarm. And this is really helpful because maybe you don't want motion detection active during the day, but you do want it active during the night. You can set it up to automatically arm at a certain hour and automatically disarm at a certain hour. This way you don't have to do it manually. So that pretty much covers it for this video. If you found it to be helpful, do us a favor, give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. And aside from that, we'll see you guys in the next one.